Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to make this bow tie with matching pocket square. These are pattern pieces and measurements for my bow tie and pocket square. First, I'll be making my pocket square, which is 20 by 20 centimeters. I'm overlocking each edge on this pocket square with my overlocking machine. And this is how it looks. Next, I'm ironing my pocket square flat, like that. And my pocket square is finished. Next, I'll sew these two pattern pieces. I'm folding bow tie strap in half and pinning edges together. And I'm pinning edges together on bow tie middle pattern piece and I'll sew there and there. This strap width will be the same width as the bow tie fastening width. I'm adding my magnet so the width of this seam will be same as it is on the bow tie fastening and I'm repeating same on bow tie strap. Next I'll use safety pin to turn these straps to the right side. Before I turn my bow tie strap to the right side, I'm cutting off excess fabric on a seam allowance there. And now I'm turning my bow tie strap to the right side. And when it is turned to the right side, it is nice and thin, as you can see there. Now I'm ironing both straps flat. So this is the wrong side, as you can see there seam. And this is the right side. Next, I'll prepare bow tie bow. I'm placing bow tie fabric on top of the cotton fabric folding these two layers in half creating a crease in the middle and then i'm ironing the edge to the middle and i'm ironing other edge to the middle so both layers are ironed together next i'm folding that like that creating crease in the middle again and then i'm folding those two edges in the middle like that ironing flat and also straight seam there and there so both edges are touched in the center of the bow so it looks like that next i will fold this pattern piece into shape i'm folding it in half like that and then i'm flipping over that edge and flipping over other edge so i create a bow and then i'm sewing these two edges and the middle together on the right side and the wrong side so here's my bow next i'll prepare bow tie strap this is the right side and this is the wrong side where the seam is cutting off the frayed edge i'll be using this bow tie fastening with a hook which looks like that i'm entering this fastening so the hook is facing down i'm folding that edge down like that on the wrong side and I'll be sewing a straight stitch to touch that edge on a strap it looks like that so this is the right side and this is the wrong side and next I'm cutting off frayed edge on the other side and I'll be entering this fastening like that so the wrong side is facing up This is how it looks. Next, I'm adding this fastening on the end, like that. I'm pulling out that strap on that fastening and entering other side of this strap end through that middle fastening. So this is like one long strap and that end of the strap goes through the middle there. So you have to follow this step quite carefully. So this is one long strap and that end of the strap goes in the middle of that fastening, cutting off the frayed edge. And I will be sewing this end down on that strap end of the strap and I'll be hand sewing down that strap and my strap is finished so this strap is adjustable you can make it longer or shorter 
so this is how it looks so this is the right side and this is the wrong side next I'll attach straps to the bow first I'll be attaching this small middle bow strap I'm just trying out which pattern looks better so this looks good so now I'll be subbing this strap at the back on the wrong side so I'm attaching that strap on the wrong side of the bow like that so it looks like that next I'm attaching this bow tie strap so the wrong side is facing up same as the bow and the hook is facing down on the bow like that so hook is down next I'm attaching bow tie strap at the back of the bow tie like that I'm sewing that strap on a bow tie center so it looks like that and then I'm wrapping this center bow tie strap all around the bow tie center like that cutting excess fabric off the strap folding edge inside like that and I'm sewing that strap edge to the bow tie neatly I'm evening out all of the pleats on this bow so it's nice and centered like that and my bow tie is finished this is the right side of my bow tie looks like that and this is the wrong side of the bow tie If you have any questions how I made this bow tie with matching pocket square, please do comment down below in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Love Anita.